friends, I'm Erin, the Reformed Health Coach, and today I'm going to bring to you stay-at-home bingo. So what a time we are living in that we are living through right now. There's anxiety, there's uncertainty, which brings about more anxiety. Uh, there's a lot going on. Our four-legged friends down here are sure getting a lot of love and attention right now, aren't they? Aren't we, Stevie? Yeah, I know. You are loving it. So as we are all going through this together from a safe distance, I wanted to create something that would be kind of a fun way to use our time, but to share the use of our time and to make sure we're getting some nice productive things done, learning, growing, using this time to better ourselves, and then hopefully be able to carry some new practices, some new skills, maybe even um, when life returns to normal, whenever that's going to be. So this is stay at home bingo. So there will be uh, a link where you can, there'll be like a printoutable version of this. Also on Facebook, if you go join my Reformed Health community, uh, there's my, my page is Reformed Health Coach. Community is Reformed Health Community. Join that community for exclusive access, exclusive content that won't be for everyone on the regular page. And the idea of this is, is not only to engage in activities that you're gonna learn and grow and be productive, but to share what you're doing, post pictures of it, comment on other people's pictures. So we really get that sense of community. And instead of seeing someone at the gym or, or talking at the water cooler about a really cool TED talk that you just watched. We're gonna do that via our online communities. So whether it's comments on this very video or over on the Facebook group, comment, interact with each other, share the things that we're doing so we can be that support network for each other. So, you know, it's it's a bingo board, right? So when you actually see, actually see the graphic of it, and I'll, I'll post it, a picture of it here, it's a five by five grid. You wanna go diagonally across or straight up and down to get a bingo. It's a five by five grid, therefore there are 25 different prompts. And in any direction that you go for a bingo, pretty much made it so you're gonna have some sort of uh, food related, some sort of movement related, some sort of uh, connection, uh, learning type of activities. So there should be a nice mix of activities. So there's no one way of it all being cleaning or all being exercise. It should be a nice mix. But before I get into the actual prompts, there's a little bit of a bonus. So if you get bingo or if you share at least three like pictures or explanations about something that you did based on the bingo sheet, then I'm gonna give you a free healthy lifestyle guidance session. So um, what we would do, we would set up either a phone call or video conferencing. If you don't know how to use video conferencing, I use Zoom, I can send you a link and show you how to do it. If you don't have a webcam, we can do FaceTime um, or, or whatever. This is just another way of getting that personal one-on-one -on -one connection. Even if we haven't met in real life, we can meet a new person and uh, and we get to discuss you. You can tell me about those areas that you're struggling with. We'll discuss those and I'll give you one or two action items to be able to take away from the phone call. So the purpose behind this whole thing is one, let's make good use of the time that we have right now. And secondly, to foster community in this time of social distancing and isolation. Let's use the technology that we have to be able to connect with new people, support each other. And then you and I can do that on even a more personal basis via a phone call or a video conference. If you one, get bingo, or two, you post pictures of three of the activities that you are doing via this bingo board. So let's get to the prompts. There are 25, this is a five by five grid. So I'm gonna try to go kind of quickly. I am not a huge stickler. I'm not gonna police you as far as does this count, does this not count? If you think it counts, it counts. Number one, do the take down Corona and take back control exercise. So there's a worksheet, I will have that linked for you. Um, it's, it's a way of just kind of getting to clear your head and make some plans for yourself for today and tomorrow and uh, get a better sense of clarity. So that's a, a resource that I've already created. Number two, meditate for at least 10 minutes. Three, do an at-home workout. This could be just exercises that you already know of. You could um, follow a YouTube video. I love yoga with Adrian for a yoga workout on Instagram. Instagram, there are tons of at-home workouts for all sorts of levels with equipment, with, with minimal equipment or with no equipment at all. I have my own PDF guide and that will be linked as well. Number four, clean out a closet. Number five, call an old friend or a relative. Ideally, do video conferencing, do FaceTime, something like that, so you can actually see each other, but just connect with somebody. A lot of us, especially uh, younger folks, we don't necessarily make phone calls anymore. We're all about texting and social media, so it's really nice to just have that actual real connection via a phone call. Number five, 
go for a 60 minute walk or a bike ride. As long as that is still safe for you to do, go outside, get some fresh air, get some movement for 60 minutes. I'm gonna stop numbering them. I will number them on the screen, but I'm gonna lose track here because re I'm reading this off of the grid, not off of a list. Okay, read a book of fiction. Do some sort of outdoor project, pulling weeds, putting in a garden, whatever it is. Do something kind for someone. Track your food for a day. Watch a TED Talk. A TED Talk or there's all sorts of free resources out there. Maybe it's not a TED Talk, but it's something where the purpose is for you to watch this and learn from someone. Write and send a handwritten note. Post a picture of one of these activities to the Reformed Health community or on my Reformed Health Coach page. Play a game or work on a puzzle. No screens. Go to bed by 10 p.m. Clean the garage or deep clean one particular room. Do the at-home exercise guide. This is my, this is my uh, no exercise needed at-home guide I will link. Create and follow a morning routine. This is one of my favorites. Cook a new recipe. No screens for two hours before bed. Write out a food plan and follow it for a whole day. Eat four servings of vegetables in one day. Not fruits and vegetables, four servings of vegetables in one day. Read nonfiction. Pick up an old hobby or find a new hobby. And go for a 30 minute walk. So those are the 25 prompts. Please engage, get involved, do the things, share the things, support each other. I can't wait to see everybody's pictures and I hope to be on a phone call with you real soon. Remember, reform your lifestyle, reform your health.